hello welcome to ss unitech susil this side and today we are going to see about the unpivot transformation so in the last video of this video series we have seen about the pivot transformation so if you haven't watched the last video of this video series so i would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward so let's get started with unpivot transformation so use unpivot in a mapping data flow as a way to turn an unnormalized data set into more normalized version by expanding values from multiple columns into a single record into the multiple records with the same value in a single column so what does it mean so it mean we will be going to have the multiple columns will be going to pick the column names from there and will be keeping those into a single column so this is the rotation of the table we could say so this is the reverse of the pivot transformation so go to on the source and we'll try to understand so this is our source and here it is having the employee id month then it is having the day of week like friday monday thursday tuesday and wednesday so what we want to do we want to having the employee id and month name as it is in the output but all these day of week will be in a single column and the values will be friday monday thursday tuesday and wednesday and we will be having one more column that will be expenses so those expenses column will be keeping the numeric values that we can see under that so go to the azure data factory and we'll try to implement this in practical so here let me try to add a new data flow so we can click on this new data flow here and after that here we are required to add the source so let me try to close this first now let me call this data flow as unpivot so we can call this as unpivot transformation now here we can see the add source so we can click on that and we are required to add the source here so either we can add the source from the data set or we can use the inline query so i am going to use the inline query and this is the delimited text so we can select that one so now we need to select the link service so here is the link service we can select now go to the source option and under the source option we can browse and select the file so the file which is under the input folder so here is the file we can select and click on okay now we can scroll a little bit downside and the first row as header we can select go to the projection and try to import the schema so this is we have to done because we are using the inline query if you are going to use the data set directly then it will be imported automatically so here we can see the employee id month then the friday monday thursday tuesday all these values as sort so that looks good now we can go in the data preview and we'll try to refresh it so here we can see the data now we can add the unpivot transformation by clicking on this plus symbol and here we can see under this schema modifier the unpivot so under this unpivot transformation it has three options the first option that we could see ungroup by so under the ungroup by we are not required to do anything on the first two columns that employee id and the month so we can go and try to select these two columns first so that is the employee id and the second column that is the month so we can select that now we can go in the unpivot key so this unpivot key will be going to have the column which will be keeping the values for these columns so that will be day of week so we can call this as day of week and the data type that should be string so we can select that one after that under the option we can pick column names as value or the enter values manually so i'm going to choose the first option go to the unpivot columns so under the unpivot column it will be the column that is the expenses so we can call the expenses in the column names directly and then we can select the data type so this is the only thing that we need to do now we can go under the data preview and here we can see the problem with so we can close this go back to here and here we can go in the unpivot column and the expenses that should not be integer it should be sort 
so we can select the sort and go to the data preview and try to refresh it because in the source we have seen the friday monday all those values in the sort so that's why we have to choose the same data type so here we can see the value as we were expecting so we can add the sink here and we'll be going to load the data into the sink so we can add the sink directly and after that we can go here and choose the inline query so here we want to keep this as delimited text file so we can select that one go to the settings and before settings we need to select the link service so we need to select the link service go to the settings now and here we have to specify the container name and the folder path so we can go under the output folder of this and then we can choose that folder now here we can see the first row as header that is okay then the file name option so that should be output to a single file and the name of that file will be unpivot data temp we can call now we can go under the optimize and instead of use current partition we need to go with the single partition option we can go in the data preview and try to refresh it now so we should be able to see the data here so that we can see that we can publish this so we can click on this publish and here let me publish it so this will be going to publish now we can go under the pipeline and we'll try to add a new pipeline and this pipeline will be going to execute the unpivot data flow so for that we are required to use the data flow transformation here and after that we can go in the settings and we need to select the data flow so the data flow that we have created the unpivot this one now everything looks okay now we can click on this debug so after execution of this data flow one file should be in the output folder with the unpivoted data so go to the output and here as of now i cannot see the unpivot data file here so we can refresh it so now we can see the unpivot data temp file because your pipeline is executed successfully so we can refresh and we can check the output status of this that we can see this is succeed now we can go here and this is loading so go to the edit now and under the edit we could see all the data that we can see like employee id month day of week and expenses so all data are here so this is all about the unpivot transformation so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt then you can comment your questions in the comment box see you in the next video